The episode you're about to watch is a sample episode from our member exclusive section. So we now have a uh, member section for our website where you can support our channel by subscribing. You also get access to member exclusive content. If you guys enjoy the content that you're about to watch, don't forget to like and don't forget to become a member. We really appreciate your support. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to the episode in the Rails Foundation series. In this video right here, we're going to be covering flash messages. Okay, so what are flash messages? Well, you know, when you have a login page and the user enters, you know, the wrong email or the wrong password, uh, we need to give the user some kind of like indication that, hey, you're, you're doing it wrong and you need to correct your password or whatever. Um, so what we can do is that we can use flash messages to render out our uh, you know error message. So uh, let's try this out. So I'm gonna uh, go over here. I'm gonna copy one of the users who are not supposed to log in because he or she has not confirmed his password. And I'm gonna type in the password over here. I'm gonna click sign in and you can see that we just come right back to this sign in form with nothing. So uh, what we need to do now is we're gonna implement the flash messages. But before we do that, let's actually take a look at what happens. Uh, if you look at the code over here, we already actually set the flash error over here. And we render the new form again. Now we're gonna do a bit of change to this part of the code to handle the error a little bit better. Uh, so let's actually first dig in and see what's going on. All right, so um, let's hop into our uh, layout over here and I'm gonna do a binding.pry. So we're gonna break our code and then we're gonna see what happens when we enter the wrong password. So I'm gonna head over to the sign in page. So I'm gonna head over here, get the email, paste it in the email and then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hit sign in. And then uh, now it's, uh, it's stopped our code. So I'm gonna head over here and then see flash. So what we can actually do is flash dot uh, each do uh, name value. And then we can try something like puts name, put value end. So as you can see, it's outputting the error and then the invalid uh, email password over here. So all we have to do now is wrap this into some kind of a div. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we can, we can use a bootstrap. So as you can see, bootstrap has uh, four different alert styles. So actually, um, you know, as you can see here, if we just change a class name, we are going to be able to use a different color alert messages just automatically right out of the box. Great, right? So all we have to do now is implement the rendering of the flash messages. So what I'm gonna do is in our application.html.erb, I am going to um, render out the flash messages. So flash dot each do name value just like we did in the console, end. And then here we're gonna do div class alert, alert, and we're gonna use a name. So the name is going to be like the error or whatever. So we need to make sure, one thing we need to do is we need to make sure that um, the name is either success, info, warning, or danger. Otherwise, we're not gonna see the colors because this is you know based on bootstrap style. So here we're gonna do name uh, and then that's that's pretty much it. And here we can just render, uh, actually, you know what, if I call this message, msg is probably better. All right, so not the msg we put in the food, but actually, you know, message. All right, so this is uh, gonna be enough for us. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit uh, of uh, changing of this code over here. So instead of doing a render new, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do render, uh, so sorry, we're gonna do a redirect to login path and notice. So we're gonna start with the notice. So actually, no, we're gonna start with the info, my bad. So the info, because, um, you know, we want the name of the, uh, the flash message to be info so that it uses the alert hyphen info class. However, if we render, if we re redirect like this, it's not going to show up correctly in our flash message uh, because, you know, by default, Rails doesn't support the flash with the key info. Uh, so let's take a look at what happens. So here I have the flash message uh, being rendered. I'm going to comment out this binding.pry. 
And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit. Let's let me just exit from here so that the page can continue to render. Uh, so I'm going to go to the sign in page. So as you can see, the, the, you know, it's, it's showing now, but it's using the previous, um, you know, error message. So as you alert error and in bootstrap, there's no alert error. That's, that's why we're now changing, um, you know, this part here to info. Uh, actually, if we want it to be red, we would have to use the danger. So let's try danger. Uh, and then uh, we're going to go back into here and then basically try logging in again. So I'm going to reload over here. Flash message is gone. And then I'm going to copy the email, paste, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're going to see that it's actually not rendering anything. So how do we fix that? Well, if we go over into the application controller and we add the flash type, so add flash types, and in here we can set danger, uh, info, warning, success. So basically these are going to be the key that we're going to use, uh, you know, based on the bootstrap here. So success, info, warning, and danger. So if we want something that's in blue, we're going to use info. If we want something that's orange, uh, yellow, we're going to use warning and then, and so on. You get the idea. All right. So now we've added this file here. Uh, let's try it out. So I'm going to head over into here and reload. And now we're going to uh, log in again with our user. So whatever the password, hit sign in. And as you can see here, it's now showing in red just as we wanted it to. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much our, our flash messages taken care of. And so to clean this up, what we can do is we can put this in a separate partial. So I'm gonna create a new partial over here, call it flash messages, HTML ERB. And then we're gonna cut all this code and paste it into here and then uh, just clean it up just like that. And then here, uh, we're gonna do render flash messages. I'm gonna hit reload. Great, so now we can try logging in again. So I'm gonna paste in the, the email from the user before. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He cannot log in. And there we go. So now it's you know contained in its own little partial. Uh, we can actually even go ahead and add a success. You have signed in. Great. So now if we log in with a, a working user, so this user down here works. So we can copy that, uh, paste, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit sign in. And as you can see, we're now, you're now signed in. Flash messages are now popped up and it's in green. Perfect. So everything is working. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.